for this morning. Uh, Hallelujah. I want to don't do have no fear in what taking place. Because if the same God we serve, then who make a way in the wilderness, provide for his people. Amen. Imagine in the wilderness bread came for them. Ay, ay, ay. Help me somebody. Yes. In the wilderness bread appear. Yes. Listen to me. I don't know. If God change, help me. God has change, you know. We change. We change. But God never change. He's the same God yesterday. He's the same God today. And if he make a way yesterday, he will make a way today for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. Bless God this morning. Well, Hallelujah. I give my wife the opportunity this morning to share with you Amen. After hearing her, I was really, really, really blessed. And I feel I want to be blessed at home. Amen. Some people settle for the, for the jets. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't want the jets. I want the full thing. Talk to me, somebody. Amen? Yeah. So I welcome Pastor Lydia. She be a blessing yeah. to us this morning. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Oh, we're gonna have to go to the Let's go. Blessed good morning and greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to the household of faith, to my family and friends this morning who will be locked on to us. This is our Sunday morning worship. God will provide ministries. Hallelujah. Are you all ready to receive this morning? Yes, amen. Right, so then you all can take out your Bibles this morning. Yes. Amen? Yes. Are you all ready for food? Oh, yeah. Amen. If you have been with us one year, then you should be growing into two years. Amen? Yes. You should be moving up. Yeah? Like Cutting out the bottle. Yes, good work. Yeah? Right. Brother Tallman is smiling and he's agreeing this morning. Hallelujah. I hope you all came expecting this morning. And I hope you all are believers this morning. Amen. Yes. A Christian and a believer is two different people. Huh? <laughs> Amen. Right. So what I recognize this morning, I want to put a card before the horse before I forget about it this morning. Yeah. Jesus had 12 disciples. Jesus' disciples had bad attitude. Hmm. That's what some of us. Jesus' disciples sometimes couldn't digest the meat that he was feeding them because they did contrary things. Yeah, go ahead. Sometimes they were not representing Jesus. These disciples were in ministry with Jesus. Sometimes people would come to them before they go to Jesus. Hmm. And how did the, the, the disciples respond to unsaved people? Hmm. I want to take my time with us this morning. How we as leaders and believers and kingdom man and kingdom woman respond to people will determine whether they will get saved good, good. or whether they will stay where they are. In the Bible, I'm going to read for you. You all can turn to Matthew chapter, 20, chapter 15 verses 21. Somebody was always looking for Jesus. And this somebody was always an unsafe person. Everybody say divine appointment. Divine appointment. Right. That is the title to my sermon this morning. Amen. Amen. Somebody was always looking for Jesus this morning. But apparently, most of the times, the disciples, the kingdom man was not in agreement with what Jesus was doing. And I'm going to prove it here. Amen. Some of the disciples were Christians, but they were not believers. Amen. So let us read this morning. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. 
Thank you for your rhema word this morning that it will be planted, Lord. You lighten us to plants that you have planted this morning, Lord. So we pray, oh God, that your word will fall into our ground this morning. We have worshipped you, Lord. We have plowed up the ground and worshipped to receive your word this morning. We pray that your people will receive your word with joy and with gladness, Lord, that they will not be sad. When they hear your word, Lord, give them spiritual air to hear, Lord. Give them comprehension, Lord, to understand, O oh God, your word this morning, O oh God. Give them the grace, O oh God, to receive your word this morning. And we know, Lord, that your people have a problem when it comes to the word this morning. And as I was saying to my husband this morning, we are hearing a lot about the Old Testament people, about Abraham, about Joseph, about Daniel, about the woman Joseph. who gave everything she had to the prophet. Nobody is expounding the word of God from the New Testament. I hardly hear preachers preaching what Jesus said. Hmm. Amen. So this morning, let us read this morning. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil, and this woman's daughter was seriously under witchcraft. Heavy witchcraft. Amen. Amen. And the disciples, most of the time, my sermon is shifting. Couldn't discern and they couldn't recognize when someone was crying out to Jesus. They did not feel the pain and they did not feel the hurt. And they did not feel the desperation of these people who needed deliverance. Let me prove it to you this morning. Verse 23 said, But he answered not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, mm. Go ahead. Send her away, for she cried after us. Go ahead. It showed very plainly Richard. that they did not want yeah. Jesus to attend to this woman. Mm. Let me prove it to you. If that was the case, then Jesus would not have answered and said. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That was Jesus' mandate. Yeah. Amen? Hmm. A divine appointment, a meetings arranged by the Holy Spirit with people that have something in them that they need you. Maybe this woman, she needed a miracle for her child. Amen? And she knew Jesus was the only one that could deliver her daughter. Mm -hmm. I want to let you know that you have, an, have a divine appointment also. Amen? That you have an assignment. Jesus left the borders of Israel. We don't even want to leave our yeah. home. Ahead, he left the borders of Israel traveling east of Galilee. And he had no transport. He had his P2. Yeah. But yeah. at all, the P2. Yeah? Sometimes by boat. But most of the times they will walk to different villages and towns. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Jesus knew his next step. He knew his next assignment. Jesus was going in the direction of the Gentiles 
And it is clear that the disciples wanted Jesus to send her away without talking to her. Verses 24 makes that clear. This woman knew everything about Jesus. This woman knew that Jesus was the Messiah. She knew that Jesus did miracles. She heard about Jesus. What is people hearing about you? What is people hearing about the church? Rumors have it there is bacchanal in there. There is confusion in there. There is hatred in there. Rumors have it that's a song I think. Uh, Brother Rishi, I didn't get it beat fit. A long time song from the 80s. Rumors were spreading all over to every nation, every country. Yes. Amen? That Jesus was a deliverer and he was a healer. Hmm. And the disciples did not want Jesus to do this assignment. Hmm. Why? Because let me show you why. Just now. Divine appointment. Let me tell you what a divine appointment is. A meeting with another person that God has arranged by the Holy Ghost. And now God is setting up divine appointment because Jesus is not here. We are here and the Holy Ghost is here and the Holy Ghost is inside of us. But many a times we want another human to lead us and guide us and direct us. And that is where we will miss the mark and miss our assignment. Miss our destiny. Amen? So, I want to let you know you have the word of God. And you have the bread of life this morning. And people will want what you have. What do you have this morning? Is anybody looking for you? Who is looking for you this morning? Amen. Go ahead. Pastor, is anybody looking for you? Amen. People are always looking for Pastor and I this morning. Who is looking for you? Huh. Good word. I heard Brother Tallman got delivered. I'm going to look for him and ask him how he got delivered. And who, he, who delivered him? Amen? So the disciples were trying to abort this assignment. Mm -hmm. Amen? And let me tell you something. That's why you need power. Because Jesus demonstrated his power. If you have no power, nobody will come to you. You won't be able to do any miracles. You won't be able to get anybody saved. Because there is no power inside of you. The unsaved people that came to Jesus... Jesus demonstrated his power mixed with his love and mixed with his compassion and mixed with his acceptance of the Gentile people. Jesus made it clear. I came for the drug addicts. I came for the alcoholics. I came for the prostitutes. I came for the bandits. I came for the thieves. I came for the murderers. I came to heal the sick. I came to heal the broken and hearted. I came to bind up their wounds this morning. I came to loose the captives and make the prisoners free. How that is going to happen on this earth this morning? Is anyone looking for you? They were always looking for Jesus. Is anybody looking for the leaders in the church? I didn't see that here. Because the leaders was misbehaving. They wasn't doing what Jesus told them to do. Am I correct? Right. So a lot of people will not like me and I don't want you to like me. I want to grow you up. As a pastor, a couple Sundays, about two months, I recognize the mantle that is upon my life. We hear about destiny helpers. That is not about money. Destiny helpers is to help you to activate your gift inside of you. Amen. Amen. And I realize that I have that gift that I can look at you and I can see if you can sing or if you can intercede. I can see if you're living in sin. Mm. I can see if you're hurting. The disciples couldn't see that. 
And I want a lightning to the churches today. Can you see the people who are hurted? Can you see the people who are broken? Can you see the people who are under abuse? Well, this morning? Amen. Well. So, I want you to be aware of another thing. Just like the disciples tell Jesus to send this woman away. Hmm. I want you to be aware of people who will come to you and tell you, get out from the God will provide ministries. They are actually telling you, get out from your assignment. Get out from your purpose. Yeah. Come down to my level. I am doing nothing and you mustn't do nothing. Them people are good day. They are bought in your destiny. They are struck in you Preacher. from your destiny. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Good word. Do they have any value to add to your life? Yeah. Can they activate the gift and the call of God upon your life? Do they have the capacity for your greatness? According to Dr. Cindy Trim. Hmm. They are blind. They cannot see. Blind, blind. Amen? But because denomination is a big thing, and I don't see that in the Bible, if you're not in their denomination, you're a black sheep. Totally contrary to the word of God. Amen? Richard, amen. Right. So Jesus had a divine appointment with this woman. Jesus knew that this woman was looking for him. Amen? Yes. He knew that. Why did he go in that direction? Do you know who is looking for you? Hmm. If one more question, is anybody looking for you? Or you don't care if Sunday fall on a Monday? Hmm. Go ahead. All you know, you come to church, you come and sit down, the word bounces off, and you go this your same old merry way. Preachers. Preachers. Yeah? yeah? But let me yeah. tell you, in this church, Brother Rishi know me. He know that I move in the Holy Ghost. And if I cannot grow you and mature you, and if I have to feed you tablets, sweetie, I will stay in my bed. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Preachers. Yeah? Yeah. 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 I like the sister, sweetie, called tablets, sweetie. Everybody likes sweetie. True. Don't correct here. You're not open for correction and instruction. How are you going to grow? Outside, preacher. I don't. I, I, I think because of the money, I don't care for money. My God supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Amen? Exactly. So Amen. when I delight myself in him, he will give me the desires of my heart. Hallelujah. I don't need your money according to apostle. Me and my husband had everything before we started church. That's right, preach it. And he works to support me and my family, Brother Rishi. That's right, praise God, yes. So we are not doing it for money. We were served, safe to serve. We were not safe to sit. Or to get money. <laughs> or to get money. Amen. Now Jesus' ministry was deliverance and salvation. And we missed the mark, eh? Go ahead, preach it. Jesus never did a financial miracle for anybody. He gave you a condition. He said, when you begin to seek the kingdom, when you begin to seek me, when you begin to desire me, then, say, money is not a problem to me. I have everything. Yeah. <laughs> but the Holy Ghost wants to process you before he bless you. That's right. Not that people wouldn't bless you. But that's not the purpose that you are coming into the house of the Lord for. Amen. We are here to make disciples of you. Yes. Amen. So I want you to know that this woman knew every detail about Jesus. And people know every detail about our lives because they are monitoring you on Facebook. Yeah. And they are monitoring you to see what you're doing. Yeah. They know your details. They know if you're playing church and if you're sitting in the church and if you're playing games, they know what you're doing. Hmm. This woman from in another country heard about Jesus. Listen, the unsafe people monitoring you, you know. Yeah. The safe people monitoring us to pull us down and to set us back and to kill we ministry. So we have Everyone monitoring us as Christians. Yeah, yeah? yeah go ahead. Let us be real this morning. I want to help you this morning. And if you don't need a help, don't come to the God will provide ministries. Amen. Good word. If you need help, 
I am here. We are here to help you this, this morning. Amen. I need help with my worship practice and God has sent his servant to help me. Amen. And he knew that I needed a servant. Amen. And what did he do? He said in the nick of time, yes. he sent a servant to help me. So God will send people to you to help you. Amen. It, in the right time. It's yes. all about God timing. Yes. Amen. You see character. Brother Rich is a very, very important thing in a Christian life. Yeah, so true. What kind of character did Jesus have? Good God. If Jesus had a bad character, nobody was looking for him. Mm, God would. Character is everything. Yes, yeah, Sister Cherise? Yeah. Right. For kingdom people, what is happening in your life that is supernatural? These disciples did not show compassion for this woman. They couldn't understand the divine and the supernatural. Where? They was with Jesus eating and drinking and following him. But it wasn't deep. receiving the impartation that Jesus was giving them. Yet it wasn't deep according to Pastor. Rumors had it that Jesus was the Son of God. By the things that he did. Jesus is looking for some disciples that will demonstrate his power. Does rumor have it that you are a child of God? The rumors that is going around. Hmm. Are you a child of God this morning? Amen. God wants some people to demonstrate his power to the unsafe people. Yes. People is running from the church. Why? Running from us. We are the church, you know, they are running from the building. Rumor has it again that them people only like rich people in the church. <laughs> rumor has it. We're talking about rumor here. This was a rumor that spread throughout the world that this Canaanite woman, this Gentile woman heard about Jesus and she knew every detail about his life. Amen. Who was she looking for? Yes. When the witch and the wizard and the warlock send the attack on her daughter. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who was she looking for? Let me let you know you are a church and wherever you go, you are a church. Jesus had church wherever he went. Yes. Amen. Good word. Thank God for the AC. So you are the solution this morning. Power means the ability or capacity to act in a particular way. The capacity or ability to direct, to influence. But it looked like the devil using some people to influence you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. The devil have influence and he have his people set up in the church. The devil had his people set up in Jesus' ministry to tell him what to do. To tell him to send this woman away. Yeah. Jesus sure. gave, him, gave them the answer. He said, my mandate is to the lost. Amen? This Good. is what Jesus told his disciples. He gave them the answer. Hallelujah. He said, you cannot obstruct what God, my Father, assigned for me to do. You cannot obstruct my assignment. Amen? And this is exactly, we are talking about the disciples, the 12 people that Jesus showed them, they chose, they read them, had problems. One was a doubter. <laughs> One denied Jesus. Huh. One, some of them saying, send them people away. Hmm. They had serious issues. Sure. They had bad attitude. They had hate locked up inside of them. They had resentment locked up inside of them. Sure. Yeah? Because they showed no compassion. That's right. There is no more compassion in the house of the Lord. Christians nowadays, nobody is looking for them. They like to dress on their identity. Their identity is in clothes now. I know my identity is in Christ. I was made in the image of Jesus Christ. We have to put on clothes. We have to look good. But when you begin to put on the cut of jeans, and you begin to put on the makeup and the nails, 
I want to hear you. The shoes. You're making that your identity. The hair is done nothing wrong. And I think when people begin to do that, Brother Rishi, I look at them. I see some kingdom woman. Kingdom woman is different. Kingdom man is different. Kingdom yes. man and woman have to look different. They have to talk different. Yes. They have to operate different. They're looking like the world. Who coming to you? Who looking for you? Because you're looking just like we. You're talking just like we. You're doing the same things we do. doing. You're drinking the wine. Just like we. Yes. And you're up in Facebook. I looking good. I a model. Richard, that is not a kingdom woman. Richard. I will show you a kingdom woman. Right. Let me give you our next definition. Possession or control. Authority over others. The ability to act or produce an effect. It's in your power to change things. That is power. Yes. I want to shift a little bit. The woman... This unsaved woman came to Jesus to stand in the gap for her daughter. Are you standing in the gap for anyone? Mm -hmm. so, Go over with me. We are reading the word, eh? We're not talking about Joshua and Moses and we're going to possess the promised land without processing it. <laughs> because the people who have been processed while they're on their journey to the promised land are different sermon. But they couldn't handle the process. The spirit of idolatry entered them. Some people can't handle the process, they fall out of the race. Richard, good if they can't handle the process, God said, I'm not going to bless you. Richard. I'm not going to help you because you're not looking for me. You're looking for my hand. You're looking for my face. Uh, Am I preaching good? Yes. Let me hear a loud amen. Am I not yes. with you this morning? We're not talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know? yes. We're not talking about who again? Noah and Ezekiel and them. You know? We passed that. Now that we won't have those experiences, we're talking about what Jesus said. Why are we not hearing what Jesus said? Why we resemble the world? Uh -huh. We should pass the word. When you dress and go, can a kingdom man or woman identify you? I could identify who is a kingdom man and woman. Yes. Hmm. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Yes, amen. I love to look nice. I love my chain and my earring, my little lipstick and my hairstyle and my clothes. What Jesus said to do? Dress moderately. Yes. That way he say everything you're doing, do it moderately. I am discouraged when people call themselves my disciples and they're looking real different from me. They're talking different from me. It means I am imparting nothing into you. Amen. And I don't like it. It makes me feel to close down church because nobody wants to be like Jesus anymore. Nobody want to go out there to the vagrants anymore. They want AC. I want you to take off this AC for me right now for the rest of the time. <laughs> and I'll make brother receive or uh, get me the remote. You can see them start to sweat. <gasps> I go home. Next week I'm taking off the AC for the whole session. I want you to feel what Jesus was feeling, what he was doing. There's what Jesus was doing. Amen? Jesus was not influenced by his disciples. Hmm. He never allowed them to get to him. But he take time to give them the answer. He had a plaster for every soul. Every time they come, he gave them the answer. They have to shut up and back out. When they come to you, give them the answer. My destiny, my purpose, my assignment is at the God will provide ministries. Give them the answer. Get the hand, Satan. Amen. 
Get the hands. And without apology, I'm never ever apologizing for delivering the word of God. Never ever. Amen. No compromise. Amen. Brother Rishi and folks that are here, God has given us the gifts and the power to execute those assignments. Your assignment most of the time is to help someone. Yeah. God has a plan. Do you want to be a part of that plan? The disciples showed very clearly they did not want to be a part of that plan. But because Jesus had them there, they were inactive. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, most of us have disciples, leaders, who don't want to be there, you know, but they love the power and they love the position. They just want to sit there to destroy the ministry. They don't want to be there. Let the man and woman of God know you don't want to be in this position. Let me go. I want to go and serve the devil. I want to die and I want to go to hell. I don't want to do nothing for you. I don't want to be your hands and your feet. I don't want to be a mouthpiece because the disciples want not Jesus' mouthpiece. Send this woman away. She crying after me. She wasn't crying after them. She was crying after Jesus. Let me read it over here before I make any mistake. I don't want to make no mistake with the sermon. Right. She cried after us, but they fast on the altar. Please. When she cried after us, I didn't hear she cried Peter, Mark, Luke, and John, and Matthew. She was crying to Jesus. And when people come in the house of the Lord, and they cry out for the man and the woman of God to attend to them, and to help them, and to minister to them and deposit them in part, we tell the disciples, send them away. We don't have no time for them. We want the people with the money, come bring them. If they have money, I will attend to them. Uh, Tell me if I'm preaching good. Correct me this morning. Preachers, man. When the backsliders come, he is the drink rum. He was a, she was a prostitute. Leave she in the back. Don't pull she up in front. Leave she like a black sheep. Preacher, so true. So you cannot do nothing any except for it have other serious sins eh, that you have to sit up. But I'm just talking. Look, he was by the rum shop. He was doing this and he was doing that. We could never see. My God forgive him. Yeah, and the purpose. The purpose. And who the Lord has used? Experienced people, the drug addict, the alcoholic. If you hook on pornography, you will go and tell somebody else, listen, this is how I get delivered from pornography. This is how I get delivered from alcohol addiction. Are they looking for you? Who is looking for you? Yeah. Jesus said, when you get delivered, when you get loose and free and become spiritual, then, then I will use you and I'll give you and I'll bless you. Amen? Glory to God, yeah. So what are we doing with the gifts? I want us to go over to Matthew chapter 8. I want to show you something. Who are you standing in the gap for church? This woman stood in the gap for her daughter. Amen? Yes. Listen. Who is looking for you this morning? And yes, I do have a problem with kingdom man and woman wearing a cut up jeans. That's my thing. And I have a problem if you're preaching with it, I will lock you off. One time. One time. Why are you preaching in church with a cut up jeans or a jeans? Be like the world. And then they say we want to go down to the level. Well, when you go down to the level, Brother Rish, you will stay to the level. You wouldn't come up higher. Yeah. You want to go down to people level, and you will never come up back. How, how low you want to go? Sometimes when you go low, you get stuck right there, and you stay right there. True. If you're not praying and fasting, and you're seeking, not seeking the face of God, you will stay right there. So you go back, man. Listen, Jesus always had a strategy. Eh? 
And if we don't have a strategy, sit down and tell Jesus, give you a strategy. Amen. Don't do, do something because another church doing it. Don't do something because somebody else doing it. Amen. Because there will be no fruits in that. <laughs> do it because that is your assignment. That is your mission. That is who you were assigned to. That was your mandate. Amen? Right. Matthew chapter 8. Just now I'll bring it home. Better I go home and sit down. If I have seen no fruits on the sermon. I will send pastor alone. I, I like to sleep. Amen. I like to sleep. You think, what did I say by tear that I have to get up my bed? In the morning time, listen. I just run a whole church. I get up, pray. From what? Three to four. Put up my pot on a Sunday morning. And the seat for you and the seat for the church. Go and pick up everybody. Still come and worship and still come and preach. Hmm. For who? For me? And then when you come now, the people don't want the food. And they don't want the word. Die wasting time. I don't want to waste time. Amen. Amen. Why are you here? Because you have an assignment. You have the gift inside of you. And when you come into the house of the Lord, the gift will activate in you. Yes. Amen. Purpose will be activated in you. Many people don't want to hear this. Shadrach, everybody want to hear about Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego. Right? How God delivered them from the from the fire. But it wasn't where the Babylonian garment. There was drinking the Babylonian drink and eating the Babylonian food. Yeah, there wasn't Babylonian. Go ahead. But you want the same blessing. Yeah. Come on, brother Rishi. Come on. Yeah, there wasn't Babylonian to the world. That's right. Right? Process, people hate process. And let me tell you, the first shall be the last and the last will be the first. You see where God put brother Rishi? Why? Because he surrendered and he submitted. He might fall, I'm just saying this. But why people not getting it in the house of the Lord? Because they didn't surrender yet to Jesus and they're not submitted to Jesus' Lordship. They haven't declared the Lordship of Jesus Christ upon their life. Because let me let you know why. Jesus said, if you declare that he is Lord, then you will be saved. The sinner's prayer, we have to begin to add in. Let the people know. Say, Lord Jesus, you are Lord of my life. When you begin to declare that Jesus is Lord of your life and not you as God of your life and what you want, yeah, go ahead. then God is going to begin to use you. Yeah, that's right. Amen? That's right. Amen. right. So I want to let you know, if you are committed and dedicated and faithful, God will bless you. You don't have to worry about that. Jesus said, don't worry. Money is not a problem. Clothes is not a problem. I have, I have gold and pearls where I am. I have a lot of portals that I want to open to you, but it is not your time because you haven't been processed. You are not ready to receive my pearl and my diamond and my gold. Amen. You are not ready for my hand and my blessing. Amen. Amen. True. Good word. Because you're not going through this process good at all. You're offended at everything. Richard. <laughs> Anybody come into the house and notice some people? They say in the mind, eh? Them now come and watch how she honoring them. I have to honor them. You already here. I have to honor the new people. Look at she. She using them. If they're ready, I have to use them. You understand? So for that now, Jesus. This woman was not offended. She was not offended by Jesus. Tell her. He can and I want to say it over again. You know what Jesus will do? He will take the children, brother, and give it to the dogs. Because the dogs come into him. The unsaved come into yeah. him. And he's going to begin to bless them yeah. and raise them up and use them. Yes. <laughs> brother Tor laughing at it. Who was and the dogs that was coming to Jesus? The people who the Jews consider the dogs? Hmm. Richard, good word. The, listen, people can prevent people from getting saved. Yes. You understand? Um, I want to go down to this, this here. Right. 
I want to let you know what is a gap. I want to talk about a gap. I mean, we, we, we just shifting a little bit in. I'm marrying these two scriptures because... This is the, what Jesus wants us to do. The now gospel, brother Rich, is bring your money and come for your prophecy, for your word, for your deliverance and your healing, right? This is what. Now, Jesus gospel different, you know. You know what he said? You stand in the gap for them. You pray and you seek my face for them. Nobody. Why are you selling the gospel? Why are you selling prophecy? Why are you selling the good news? Why are you selling Jesus? Which is? Which and why are you doing it for? Good word. Bring your tithes and bring your offering. And then we got talk. I have a member here where she was going. A break X amount of money, that's how she ended up by me. And not take everything get it worth. Money can't deliver you. True. <laughs> that not no way here, church. Go and tell them what you learn here. Go and tell them, listen. I want you to stand in the gap. I want to use you. I want them to look for you. I want you to look for them. I want you to focus on your assignment and what God called you to do. Amen. 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 So listen to it here. Eight. And Jesus said unto him, Okay. Did what? This is eight and five. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, it looked like every town Jesus entered in, every village, yes. he, oh yes. my God. Yes. And he going where God wanted him to go, you know. Uh -huh. Because he needed a little help now with the people, with the, that's why he take the disciples. He needed some help, you know. But he was doing the spiritual part. But his disciples was good back. Good job. And pushing people out of the house of the Lord. And the disciples was in ministry. And they were the leaders. And they were breaking up the church too. They go back. And, Je and when Jesus was entered into Caponium. There came unto him a sanctuary and beseeching him. And saying, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented. This Canaanite woman stood in the gap for her daughter. This centurion stood yeah. in the gap for his servant. Yeah. Who are you standing in the gap for? Yeah. Who do you have a burden for? What do you have a burden for? You want money? You want clothes? Amen. God never said to stand in the gap for money. <laughs> he said he got added. You stand in the gap for the people? And I got added that to you. Amen. Listen. And say, Lord... My, my servant lied. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Lord, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Lord, give me the money and then I will come to church. <laughs> what did this centurion say? And I don't think the centurion was at church when Jesus sat in the boat and preached to the multitudes. He was not in church when he went to the mountain. There was no church. Rumors has it that Jesus is in town. Zacchaeus went up the tree. Rumor has it Jesus is in town. Where is Jesus here? Who is in town? Who is at your job? Who is that in your neighborhood? You know what? They don't want to hear about the people of God. Because they don't have the character of God. Listen. I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and to another. Come and he cometh, and to my servant, do this, and he do it, it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Listen, verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and sit down where 
Abraham and I say many shall come from the east and the west and the south and the God will provide ministries and sit down with Pastor Anil and Pastor Lydia and you will go behind. Don't come up. Don't come up. Stay behind. And Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven and many you have been in church how many years? And you will still get left behind. This is what Jesus was saying. But the children of the kingdom, listen, shall be cast out. Hmm. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Brother Andre, but the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus is saying that the kingdom people and the kingdom man and woman will be going to hell. Richard. This is what Jesus told them. He said, because the unsafe people can recognize who I am. The unsafe people can recognize hmm. what I have. And you can recognize it. You don't want it. You have it, but you don't want it. Yeah. But you know how much people out there want what you have in here? It's just for the time and for the assignment. Amen. The kingdom people, they get comfortable now. Yes, amen. When amen. God grew them up a little bit, and they buy the new car, and they start to buy the clothes, and they start to flaunt now. Yes. Competition in church, fashion show in church. I don't know where it's coming from, eh? Richard. We have having fashion shows in church now. Richard. Competition in church. Some more makeup, more lipstick. More lipstick. Red hair, blonde hair, nothing wrong. But it's the motive behind it. Every week we do it with nail. I know, Brother Rishi, when we go in wedding, we do it nail. That's good. <laughs> well, you know, if you have a good job, I think you want to look pretty. Nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. But when it becomes an idol, it is idolatry. Yes, it is. It is idolatry. When you have to do your nails before you go to church on a Sunday morning, you have to do your hair. I do my own hair every Sunday morning. Amen. I wish I could go to the hairdresser every Saturday evening. Hmm. And that is not a part of what God wants for me. That is not a part of God's plan for me. God's plan for me is to come to raise up disciples. God's plan for pastor is to come to mature and to grow the sheep. Amen. The shepherd duty is to grow the sheep. And to feed the sheep is what you feed the sheep. That is how the sheep go grow, you know. Yes. Amen. <coughs> and some sheep getting too much of good food. They're choking. They're choking on it, right? Let us go to Isaiah. Isaiah. Church, who are you standing in a gap for? I don't want to lose it. I had it right here, Isaiah. Listen, Isaiah chapter 22, verses 29. I want to stand here and read it. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery. And have vexed the poor and needy. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. And I sought for a man among them that shall make up the hedge. Mm. Everybody say, Ouch! Oh. Oh. Mm. And stand in the gap before me for the land. Listen, Isaiah was saying here, God looking. For a person to make up the hedge and stand in the gap before him for the land that I should not destroy it. But I found none. Are you all shocked? God said he didn't find any. So if he don't find none, here yeah, what he going to do? He have a plan too. God have a plan. Hear God plan. Therefore, I have poured out my indignation upon them. 
I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, saith the Lord God. You like Old Testament? The woman baked whatever she had for the prophet. Well, let me tell you, you have to like this too. Amen? Come on, you can't only want sweetie. What did God say here? Because he find nobody standing in the gap, he will destroy. And he will get angry and he will pour out his judgment upon us. Amen? So, I hope this morning that you all have received this morning. Amen? So all the people who are afraid of COVID, I hope you all are staying at home, not going to the market, not going to the grocery, not going to work. That's right. If you are not in the house of the Lord to receive the word of the Lord on a Sunday morning, if you are not there and you are not at work, you are sinning against God. If you are on, let me let you know, if you are on online church, substituting for the literal church, you are doing wrong, something wrong. You are going against God's word. God left the church open. He shut down everything and he left his house open for us. I approve that if the church is shut down and locked down, with the online church. If your church is open and you are not there, why aren't you in church? That's right. Amen. Good church. Why aren't you in church? Jesus, God said he's looking for a man to stand in the gap. Jesus always went to people who stood in the gap for somebody else. He always helped them. Because they were standing in the gap for somebody else. And if you don't pray, you can't stand in the gap for nobody else. If you don't fast, you can't stand in the gap for nobody else. Because Jesus was literally there, physically there. So they went to Jesus. Jesus is, is, is not here. The Holy Spirit is here. Amen. So if we do not pray, nothing will happen. Church, Amen. who are you standing in the gap for? Who are you looking for and who is looking for you? Amen. Hallelujah. Are you coming to church for some years? Are you delivered? Are you loose and set free? Are you spiritual? This morning, we have to go very deep. We are living in the last days. They close down every other place. There is coronavirus, there is COVID for our own safety. Whether you think the Prime Minister is wicked or he's not wicked, God says shut them down. You know why? They waited to go in the beach all day to drink rum and to fat and to have a good time. They can't take two hours and one bed and get their tail back in the house. But they have to stay all day. Mm -hmm. So you look for where you get. Amen. Correct? Amen. This is a very perilous time we are living in church. Perilous times has been amongst us for a couple of years. But we are too blind. We cannot recognize this. If we cannot do what Jesus said, we will be going to hell. Jesus said, after interaction and communicating with the centurion that the children of the kingdom will be going to hell because of their faithfulness, faithlessness in him. So true. Yeah? yeah? We have to get it into our spirit, man. Let us get it. We have idols in our lives, idolatry in our lives. Not only a stone is an idol. When we love things more than we love God, it's an idol. You love the internet more than you love God. You love the phone, Facebook more than you love God. But then it's idolatry. Then you need to get rid of it. Then you need to get delivered. Come on, the anointing is flowing. Let me let you know, some people need to get delivered from Facebook. They need to get delivered from the internet. True. Because the internet and Facebook have you in bondage. You want a messenger whole day you're talking. Yeah. And you don't have no time to communicate with God. Preacher. You're gossiping on messenger. You're only minding people's business on, on Facebook. Yes. 
Kingdom man and kingdom woman go to hell for that. will go to hell. Jesus Good. said it. Good Do you word. want me to read it over again? Kingdom man and kingdom woman need to get deliverance from idolatry. Amen? They need to get deliverance from being a model instead of being an example. Preacher. What are you teaching the women out there? You put up your daughters there and they are modeling. What are you teaching your daughters to be kingdom woman or kingdom model? Kingdom woman is not model and kingdom daughters can never be model. So choose. Model for Jesus. Yes. Am I preaching good? Am yes. I helping you this morning? Good good. Yeah. You have an occasion in churches, but you cannot come with the same eyewear. Some people see a sister Sarah, a new skirt, I say yeah. I say when I'm Sometimes I like to wear something new, but most of my clothes is 10 and 15 years when I went to New York that I bought back Brother Rishi. Amen. And I keep it in my closet and you think it's new. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. What is the church coming to? Mm -hmm. We are the church. Who are you? I want to ask you again. Who are you standing in the gap for? Who is looking for you? Who are you helping? Amen. 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 Who is Good. hearing about you? Who is hearing about what you can do? Amen. I remember in Delay Road when we was at our former church, 10 years leading an outpost. And this man, he came, sent a call us and I wouldn't go. Because he got healed of a back pain when we had a street meeting by the shop across where we had the church. And he, 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 didn't, he, he didn't surrender. And he would call, tell Lydia and Lolly, I want to see them, tell Lydia and Lolly, and we wouldn't go. But the day finally came when I said, Lolly, let's go. He, he was looking for us. And today that man is a very ungrateful man. Somebody else fooled him and he's going over there now. He was crawling in that ground. He didn't have a house and he couldn't drive. Because of Lydia and Lolly, assignment to that man. Yes. And because he did not stay, in his assignment, he lost his assignment and his purpose. Amen. Nothing is happening in his life. He's inactive. They're just serving God for fish and bread. Hmm. We, I say, brother, you will work again. You will walk again. You will drive again. It happened. It happened. But you know what? Ungrateful. Ungrateful people. Let me tell you something. You know why some people not looking for us again? Because of what the same people who came claim to be in the kingdom turning people's mind against me because we leave our denomination. But they didn't have the, 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 they didn't have the capacity for yeah. our greatness and to push up and activate the real purpose and call upon our life. But we were being processed. We went through the process. Yes. Amen. And the time came when we had to leave, where we had to go. Where God could use us, amen. What I let you know, the people who come here, people will try to turn your mind away from us. They will try to say things about us, but they don't know us. I remember Dr. Cindy Trim saying, Who are those people? You go to bar talk people with people, you don't even know the people, and they don't know you, but you go to so bitterness and discord. Being a tool for the devil. How can you say you're a kingdom man and kingdom woman yeah. and pull down an next kingdom man or an next kingdom woman because all of us are under the headship of Jesus just because you think we should sit and take whatever you addition out to us. Amen? Amen. No, it doesn't work like that, church. And it's coming a day where they wouldn't be able to stop us, Brother Rishi. And I'm preaching prophetically. It's not what nobody tell me. It's what I pick up in my spirit this morning. Amen. Pastor, am I preaching good this morning? Amen. Am good I word. helping you? Good word. Amen. Who is looking for you, eh? That's what we're talking about. The centurion yeah. was looking for Jesus and the Canaanite woman was looking for Jesus. Go be a block that. Right. Now, people don't recognize when people is blocking their destiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're easily to be influenced because they have no relationship with God. That's right. Good word. Amen. Amen. So if you were saved and healed and delivered under our ministry and there was no reason for you to leave our ministry, then your destiny and your assignment have been averted and aborted. And that those people are destructing you. Yeah. Amen? 
I want the church to understand. Don't ever talk about a next kingdom man or kingdom woman, be it whatever denomination. So true. Don't do it. Amen. Good word. Because there is coming a time where God will judge you. And he's a righteous judge. So this morning, I want to make an altar call this morning, Pastor. I want to make an altar call. All those who want to stand in the gap for somebody. All those who want somebody to look for them. All those who want to be activated in their assignment. I want you to come to the altar. If you... Yeah. Well, you can stand right there. Keep, keep sitting. We wouldn't be praying for anybody for the streets. You keep sitting. If you would like someone to look for you or you want to stand in a gap for somebody, stand. you want to begin to intercede. Or I wanted to read this. Stand right where you are this morning. If you don't want to, don't stand. But at all, you can sit down. And a gap. In the ancient world of the Bible, cities had walls. You know, if, if it was me back in our former church, I would have been the first person to stand. Three times I say it and nobody stands. So keep sitting. That means you don't want what I'm dishing out to you. The people here, they take real long to get it. Amen. Right? So, listen. In the ancient world, the Bible cities had walls surrounding them to provide protection from enemies. When the wall was breached, the city was vulnerable to destruction. The only way to risk them living by eternally is standing in the gap. And it means to fight against the enemy. When God says he's looking for a man or a woman to stand in the gap, he said, I'm looking for a man and a woman who will stand and fight the enemy for their deliverance, for their children and their spouse's salvation. Amen? He said he's looking for a warfaring man or woman this morning. Amen. The fight, to fight the enemy. Will you stand in the gap for someone this morning? Will you stand and fight for your marriage? For whatever situation you are going through this morning? Fight for your destiny this morning. Yeah. Fight for your purpose. Because Satan will set up people to detour you, to distract you, to hinder you this morning. Yes. Amen? Amen? So we are going to pray this morning. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word that has gone forth this morning. And we thank you for your people this morning who are under the sound of my voice this morning. We thank you for the kingdom man and the kingdom woman. And your God will provide ministries, man and woman this morning and you this morning. We are asking you this morning, Lord, that you will activate your purpose in each and every one of your lives this morning. That, Lord, you will give them an assignment, O oh God. And Father, in the name of Jesus, no enemy, no friend, no human will ever be able to detour them, Lord, or to obstruct them or hinder them from that assignment. That people will begin to look for them, Lord. Oh, that they will begin to look for people this morning, that they will stand in a gap this morning, Lord. Oh. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, open every portal, Lord, that needs opening, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus this morning, Lord, oh, activate your people, spirit, man, and spiritual womb this morning, Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus this morning, oh God, we declare and decree a burden of assignments, yes. a mantle of assignments over your people, over this house. You have an assignment for the God will provide ministry today and the enemy will not be able to avert and abort and terminate your assignment for this ministry today God because Father you are expanding us and enlarging our coast Lord oh Father this morning we thank you oh God for your word this morning Lord that is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway your word Lord that is spirit and life this morning hallelujah this morning 
Oh, we are gardeners in the garden this morning, amen. He lightened us the trees. So we want this word to begin to burst the soil and come up. So Father, we pray. And let me tell you something. When you come into the house of the Lord and you miss the worship, it's like you're coming half naked to church. Like you only have on your pants. Right. Yeah? Right. So how are you going to receive the word if you don't worship God? And if you was receiving the word, you would be in the house of the Lord if you're not dead. Amen. The word of the Lord is blessed, Pastor. You can't take over this morning. Bless God this morning. Yeah, sure. Bless God this morning. What a, what, what a word this morning for us. Amen. Amen. For every one of us. I was blessed this morning. I, I know my wife was in. Father, I know there is something stirring up in her to share, to be a blessing to us. And I permit her to share. And I was really, Amen. really blessed this morning. Amen. Amen. When they are truly beloved, if we know how to stand in that gap, if we just know how to be Christ on this earth. Amen. The Bible said, when Jesus comes, we have to be like him. Amen. Don't get carried away, don't get fooled. 